Greetings, Kaleidoscope Clan. I pray that this is reaching you in the best of health and spirits wherever you are, whatever time you're receiving this transmission. My name is Mariposa Ma'at, and I am here in lovely Valladolid in the Yucatan. And um, in this video, I am going to be sharing my new poem um, entitled, My Art is My Antidote. And um, this topic is very near and dear to my heart because I truly, um, I would have to say that my art, my own creations have been what have healed me through my most serious pain and trauma and wounds. Um, and it's something that I had to learn on my own. And so I want to um, communicate this to the world and to encourage others to tap into your own personal art and to look to that as your source of healing through your disappointments and pains and traumas, okay? So before I do it, I want to just play the tuning forks for a moment. You take a deep breath and let's breathe in. Do it again. And one last time. Okay. So, again, this is entitled My Art Was My Antidote just one moment. I actually don't see it right now. There we go. Okay. My art was my antidote. My art is my antidote. My creations are my cure. Being submersed in inventive endeavors has been my savings grace for sure. When I was broken and alone in the darkness, after sadistic, narcissistic abuse, it was painting that sutured my spirit back together, firming up what had been dangerously loose. Every stroke of the brush felt so soothing as color therapy lovingly washed over me. I learned that holding the positive imagery in my head and heart required that I keep them free. Thus, I didn't have room for the fear anymore. Instead, I replaced it with love for myself, for my God, and for creation, the ultimate healing salve from above. Each unique art piece that I birthed into existence required a new sacrifice and painful release, all alchemized to manifest into qualities that I needed, like strength, joy, beauty, and peace. Did you know that an artist is a magician manipulating the physical and spiritual combined? It's so unfortunate our mainstream system ignores this ancient wisdom that we've practiced throughout all of time. Know thyself is the principal directive because everything we need is within. Just tap into the divine apothecary that's you and you'll be set up from the beginning to win. Don't be shy to step into your shaman selfhood. It's, not, it's now time to turn water to wine. 
Dear heart, your miracles are needed around you. So dig from deep within and turn on your shine. Whatever medicine is needed, you already have it. Whatever quality you're searching for, it's found. Turn away from the fool's gold you've been neurotically chasing and you'll finally recognize the real blessings abound. Your passions and energies are so very powerful. Your focus and intentions can really move the world. The imagination is absolutely bottomless, beloved. So let us refashion, reframe, and unfurl. I love unleashing expressions on a canvas, wildly, freely, and in my own style. Splashes of rainbow chakra colors with gemstones and sparkles, of course, all the while. By utilizing this inner feng shui science and fulfilling the bagua inside, we implant beautiful visions in our headspace and stay in the driver's seat of our own life. So whatever you craft, I encourage you to give it quality time and attention. Whether it's drawing, dancing, sewing, singing, fixing cars, or writing comedy. Just remember your passions in your childhood. What makes your heart leap for joy and feel an ease? Do that. Scientific studies have proven repeatedly it's the most proactive way to fight disease. Thank God there are no dangerous chemicals needed for this. No invasive surgery or pain to endure. Simply give yourself space to follow your heart and your inner child will find a footing that's sure. An easy way to identify what's healthy for us is by seeing what brings us happiness. Working in this way with heart, brain, and spirit is holistic healing at its absolute finest. You instinctually know exactly what you crave. There's no other channel that's more direct or more pure. So just allow your art to be your antidote and empower your creations to be your cure. Yay, so that is my, my art was, is my antidote. My art is my antidote. Yeah. And so again, it's all about tapping into the healing power within our own creative artistic powers that are from the creator, from the divine. It's our most direct way to anything that we want and need. So it's more about learning how to tap into that. So thank you, Kaleidoscope Plan for receiving that and I would love feedback. Any reflections would be very much um, appreciated. Um, I will say that this topic is actually very key in my life. It has been being able to recognize myself as an artist and to use the art in a way where um, I'm growing every time I create art. I'm growing and expanding. So I encourage each one of you to also um, give yourself permission, give yourself some energy to um, do whatever you're feeling. I can honestly say that whenever I sit down to do artistic endeavors, I feel a pinch, um, I, I hear in my head that I'm being lazy by not doing some kind of work. 
um, and it ends up that a lot of my creative things have ended up being the way that I produce money as well because I have talents that naturally attract and magnetize um, with abundance. Um, and so it's a blessing. Yes, you can do what you like and you can be happy and you can be abundant and it can be your antidote. It can be your cure, your art. So again, thank you so much. This is Medipo Samaat. Um, I encourage you to continue to embody the sacred transformation and be the butterfly that you were meant to be. Spread your wings and show your patterns for all to see. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace.